Motostar East High School. This school is run by Motoboshi Industries. This prestigious elementary school is considered one of the best in the country. We get applicants every year from all across the country. Mr. Motoboshi, we just got a call from the principal of Motostar East High School. Thanks, Nico. I'll get back to him. I'm Motoboshi. I'm the CEO of Motoboshi Industries. My hobbies include business, but I'm also a licensed doctor and a scientist. This school has a high academic level, but... The reason why many parents want their kids to attend is that once they're in, they can easily get into prestigious high schools and universities later on. But there was a student who was exempt from paying tuition. It's not fair that he can go to this school without paying a cent. Yeah, he's got an exemption because his family has no money. Hey, little pauper boy, ain't that right? <laughs> Our family isn't poor. I'm Takatobita. I'm currently 10 years old. I'm a student here at Motostar East High School. Taka, I wish you would stop lying to yourself all the time. You should be proud that you're poor and got exempt from paying tuition. Huh? Yeah, I guess. I don't really know the details, but it seems I've been exempt from paying any tuition. My current teacher told everyone in the class about this, and from then on, I've been labeled a penniless kid who just got lucky. Nico, I'm going over to Motostar East High School. Need to talk with the principal there. Yes, Mr. Motoboshi. I'll tell the driver to bring the car around. Don't bother. I want to drive myself for a change. Thanks anyways. Oh, oh really? I see. He doesn't take the car out much himself. I have to figure out a way to sit in the passenger seat. Uh, Mr. Motoboshi, maybe I should come along too? Okay then, I'm off. See you later. Okay, guys, finally recess. Let's play some dodgeball. What do you say? Yeah, let's go. The playground is too crowded. Let's just play here in the parking area. A lot more space. Yeah, way better. All right, see if you can catch this. That's way too high, man. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Seriously, man? Darn it. We just smacked the ball into that car. Oh my god, we we'll put a huge dent in it. It's parked in the VIP section. It must be a really expensive car. Yeah, probably. No doubt about it. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, sure doesn't look like a luxury car anymore. <laughs> if it's so expensive, you would think it would be way stronger. <laughs> Why not put a few more dents in it? Maybe it'll look more even. <laughs> yeah, the guy's a VIP. Pretty rich, I bet. He'll probably just buy a new one. Uh, figured I could easily handle two jobs, but it was tougher than I thought. I'm Sen Aoyama. I'm the oldest of five siblings. That's why I have to work two jobs to support them. My folks managed to accumulate a 300,000 debt, and they're not able to repay it. So here I am. Well, I better get going. Huh? What the hell are those kids doing? This is totally awesome! <laughs> yeah, let's trash this piece of junk! Uh, look at that, would ya? The side mirror just popped off. I can't believe those kids! Have they gone totally bonkers? Hey, you punks! What the hell are you doing? Stop it right now! Oh, crap! Let's get out of here, guys! Oh, crap! Right behind you, man! Get back here, you little brats! Oh, man. I can't be doing this. My part-time job. I gotta get there in time. Don't think you're gonna get away with this. I'm the principal of this school. The chairman of the school, Mr. Moroboshi, is here to look over the school, so I'm a little nervous, to say the least. I think this will do. I hope you'll be able to meet my requests. I understand. I'm sure well managed, sir. Thank you. I look forward to it. Mr. Moroboshi and I were discussing ways to better improve the school curriculum. 
Well, I better get going. I have another meeting this afternoon. Yes, of course. Thank you so much for stopping by on your busy schedule. Now let me accompany you to the parking lot. Mr. Moroboshi is a busy man, and this was a great opportunity to meet and discuss various subjects regarding the school. I was quite satisfied that all went well, and there were no unexpected incidents. Or so I thought. Uh, what, may I ask, is this? Mr. Boroboshi, what's the matter, sir? Oh my god! What has happened here? I'm so sorry, sir! Oh, who could have done this? Uh, I assure you that we will find the person who did this. I assure you, sir! I decided to make an announcement to the entire school regarding this incident. I implore whoever committed this heinous crime to come forward! If you cannot come forward now, come to my office later this afternoon after school is out. Think deeply about the consequences if you choose to ignore this. Nobody came forward, so I adjourned the meeting, and the kids went back to their classes. Did you hear? That car is worth $20,000. Can you believe it? I bet Mr. Moroboshi is furious. What if he decides to close the school or something? What happens to us? I wonder who could have done such a thing. Uh, maybe we went a bit too far, huh? Yeah, I know. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. If they find out we did it... Oh man, I don't even want to think about it. You think we'll get terminated? You know, like, disappeared? Don't worry about it, you guys. I have a great idea to get us out of this pickle. <laughs> a great idea? Huh? Let's hear it. We did everything we could, but we were unable to find the culprits. All I could do was apologize to Mr. Moroboshi and assure him that we would continue our search. Please forgive me. I should have had security guards outside. Boy, I wouldn't want to be in the principal's shoes about now. But $200,000 is like pocket change for Mr. Moroboshi. Maybe he'll just let this go. I have to be honest with you. That car meant a lot to me. I had it specially made to my specifications. It's one of a kind. I took a good look at the car. Seems someone or several people were intent on damaging it. It was no accident. I have to say, I am extremely disappointed. Seriously? That car was order made? Must be worth more than $200,000. My god, that makes things even worse. I just hope you're not so displeased that you would close down this school. I mean, that would be unfortunate. Yes, they're right. Please accept my sincere apology, sir. We'll somehow make this up to you, so... We'll do our best to find the culprits. Yes, we'll find out who did this. In our class, Miss Kashiwagi was making an announcement to the class. If the person who did this is in our class, I ask you to come forward. Better now than later. This is not only about you individually, but also concerns the school itself. Everyone sat bewildered, not uttering a word. Then, one person raised his hand. Huh? Seriously? Kazuma and those guys did it? Really? Uh, excuse me, Miss Kashiwagi. Yes, Kazuma. What is it? Uh, about the car. About who wrecked it. I know who did it. The one who did this to Mr. Motoboshi's car is... Taka! I'm sure of it! Huh? Excuse me? What? Are you positive? Taka! So you're the culprit! I should have known! How could you? Uh, uh, hold on a second! I had nothing to do with this! Hey, Kazuma! What the hell are you saying? Why are you making up such lies? Yeah, well, everyone knows he's too poor to pay his tuition. I think when he saw that expensive car outside, he couldn't hold back his anger, I bet. That's why you went to town on it, right? Are you crazy? Why the hell would I do that, for God's sake? Like that, Kazuma started telling everyone this made-up story. I figured nobody would believe such a far-fetched tale, especially an adult. But I was wrong. Yes, I can believe that. That would be a reason for him to destroy the car. Makes sense. Uh, seriously? I was more concerned with why someone would do such a thing, not actually the act itself. But now I think I understand. But, but 
Listen, I didn't do this! Why would I do such an awful thing? The girl sitting next to me raised her hand and spoke to the teacher. Excuse me, Mrs. Kashiwagi. Taka said that he didn't do it. I think someone else did it. Besides, where's the proof? Are there any witnesses? Sono. My childhood friend, Sono, spoke up on my behalf. You're Taka's childhood friend. You guys are like brother and sister. Better not take his side on this or you'll regret it later on. Or wait, do you have a crush on the guy or something? <laughs> Excuse me? There's nothing going on between us. You said proof. Where's the proof that he didn't do it, huh? Uh, no proof. But it's your word against his. Yeah, I figured as much. Hmm, if I solve this whole mess, then maybe I can catch Mr. Motoboshi's eye and then you never know. <laughs> okay then, Taka, come with me to see Mr. Motoboshi. Let's be honest and apologize to him for wrecking his car. That's all about you can do since your family is poor and won't be able to reimburse him for the car, but the least you can do is admit your guilt and have the courage to beg for forgiveness for this despicable act. Why? Why would you believe me? I rushed out of the classroom, crying my eyes out. I reached for my phone and called my dad out of desperation. Otaka, what's up? You're in school right now, right? D dad I go to... I, I'm so sorry, Dad. I didn't know what else to do. Taka, what's the matter? Why are you crying? What the hell happened at school? I explained everything that happened. Okay, I understand, Taka. No need to worry. I'll have an even better car delivered there as soon as possible. Sit tight. Huh? Really, Dad? Then, several minutes later... Hey, Taka, I just arrived at the school. Huh? Really? You're already here? Yeah, I just drove a brand new car over here. I just pulled into the VIP parking area. There's no need to worry now, Taka. Wow, I knew you'd do something about it, Dad. Thanks so much. Ha <laughs> yeah, well, anything for my son. Okay, then. I'm going to discuss this thing with Mr. Motoboshi. So go back to your studies. We'll talk later. Yeah. Okay, Dad. After I finished talking with my dad, I noticed that Kazuma was watching me from behind. Hey, heard that whole thing. So your dad brought a car over. Seriously, man? Uh, that's right. Yeah, sure. No way he could bring a car over so quick. Your dad is pulling your leg, man. Stop making up stories, Taka. Oh, I know. He rented a car and just brought that over to cover for you. That's it, right? Yeah, but how could a penniless father afford even a rental? Yeah, well, believe what you will. Check it out yourselves. You can see right away if it's a rental or not. Yeah, right. Whatever. Let's go see for ourselves. When we went out to the VIP parking area, Mr. Motoboshi was already there along with the principal and other teachers. This is the same car, but a newer version. And we've included all the changes he requested on it. This new model just came out and we were just working on upgrading it as per your request. We were planning on showing it to you soon. But uh, to be honest, I wasn't expecting to bring it here so soon. Yes, wonderful. Even better than I expected. Thanks so much. I can't wait to drive it. Thank you so much, Mr. Motoboshi. I think the price for the new model was $300,000, am I correct? I had my assistant bring the cash. Here you go. Everyone around listening to this back and forth were simply stunned into silence. Huh? Wait a sec. Seriously? Is that new car for real? It's not a rental. Yeah. Of course it's real. I told you it wasn't a rental. Uh, but I thought you folks were poor? Poor? Are you serious? Taka's father is the president of Motoboshi Motors, one of our affiliated companies. Uh, hold on a sec, really? Uh, then, uh, then, uh, then why doesn't he pay tuition like everyone else? He would have no problem paying, so why... 
Well, I understand why you wouldn't know this, but I'm sure the administration staff was aware of it. All executive members of our organization are exempt from any and all tuition for Motoboshi affiliated schools. Oh, I get it now. And that's why everyone thought I was poor. Is that what everyone thought? I'm sorry I wasn't mindful for that, Taka. We could have avoided all this grief. But then you should have been aware of all this. Wonder why everyone thought he was poor and that his parents couldn't pay tuition. Who put that into their heads? I wonder. <laughs> yeah, weird, huh? <laughs> uh, these kids don't like to spread rumors. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, that aside, wonder who wrecked the car, huh? We really need to catch the culprit. <laughs> I think it's wrong to see something improper happen and then just not say anything. At least, that's what I think. They have to know that what they did was wrong. Listen to what the people have to say. As soon as I got home from my part-time job, I wrote all that I saw today and uploaded my comments onto social media. This is an unforgivable act. Just because there are only kids, this is a reprehensible act and cannot be dismissed. But I was glad I got some video of what happened. The owner of that vehicle was probably looking for the culprits who did this. The video that I put up got countless views. Oh man, I'm always amazed by the social media stuff. It's awesome. Just hope the owner of that car sees it. The next day, as I was walking into class, everyone was talking all at once. Are you serious? So it wasn't Taka but Kazuma? That's so wild! Yeah, it's true. I knew he was a little off. He's pathetic, blaming it on Taka. As I was wondering what the heck was going on, a couple of my classmates approached me. Would you just look at this, Taka? This is Mr. Motoboshi's car, right? Huh? When I took a look, I saw the video of Kazuma and his chums vandalizing Mr. Motoboshi's car. Huh? Where'd you get this video? Apparently, someone uploaded it to a social media site. Yeah, if you take a close look at it, you can clearly see that it's Kazuma and those other two. Then, a little later, Kazuma and his chums arrived to class. Everyone immediately confronted them. Huh? What the hell is this? I want you to get to apologize to Taka right this minute! I can't believe you lied like that, blaming Taka for everything. Why the hell should I apologize to this punk? Yeah, why should we say we're sorry? We didn't do nothing! Ah, uh, it seems there's a video of you guys on the net. Looks like it's gone viral. I showed them the video that was making the rounds. No oh, heck, no way! What am I gonna do? I think we're finished. Of course, Mr. Moroboshi learned of this incident soon enough. What I've learned so far is that the three of you purposely wrecked my car. Yeah, well, I suppose it's... What I cannot forgive is that you denied you did this and blamed the whole thing on Taka. That is unforgivable. You three must be taught a lesson for such a despicable behavior. Just because you are kids, I will not be lenient in this case. Uh, please, sir. As a result, Kazuma and the others were expelled from Motostar and had to transfer to another school, a school affiliated with Motoboshi Industries. Last I heard, they were placed in a class under a very strict teacher, who they say will thoroughly educate them. And there was one other person Mr. Motoboshi had to take care of. Apparently, there are various problems with your methods, Miss Kashiwagi. Oh, it was just a simple mistake, is all. I thought it was Taka. Yes, a mistake. Pure and simple. <laughs> Do you even comprehend how Taka must have felt when he called his father? Uh, yes, of course, I felt sorry for him. You didn't understand at all. If you had, you would have heard his side of the story and acted more rationally before blaming him. I'm sorry, but you're not suited for this school. Clean out your desk. I want you out of here right this second. But, Mr. Bonoboshi, please! 
If you do something wrong, you have to pay the consequences. That's the way it is. Just admit your guilt and ask for forgiveness. Got that? Okay, see you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon.